Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to explain how the United States government works. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more insightful content. Let's dive right in. The United States government is based on the principles of democracy and federalism. It's divided into three branches, the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. Each branch has its own powers and responsibilities, ensuring a system of checks and balances that prevents any one branch from becoming too powerful. First, let's talk about the legislative branch. This branch is responsible for making laws and is composed of two houses, the Senate and the House of Representatives. Together, they form the United States Congress. The Senate has 100 members, with each state having two senators, regardless of population. Senators serve six-year terms, and elections are staggered so that approximately one-third of the Senate is up for election every two years. The House of Representatives, on the other hand, has 435 members. The number of representatives each state has is based on its population. Representatives serve two-year terms, with all seats up for election every two years. Together, the Senate and the House of Representatives draft, debate, and pass legislation that affects the entire country. Next, we have the executive branch, which is responsible for enforcing laws. The President of the United States is the head of this branch and serves a four-year term, with the possibility of being elected for one additional term. The President is supported by the Vice President, the Cabinet, and various federal agencies. The President's duties include signing bills into law, vetoing legislation, serving as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, conducting foreign policy, and appointing federal judges and other officials. The President also has the power to issue executive orders, which are directives that have the force of law without requiring congressional approval. Finally, we have the judicial branch, which interprets laws and ensures they are applied fairly. This branch is headed by the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land. The Supreme Court consists of nine justices who are appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. These justices serve lifetime terms, ensuring their independence from political pressures. The judicial branch also includes lower federal courts, such as the courts of appeals and district courts. These courts hear cases involving federal law, disputes between states, and cases involving the Constitution. The system of checks and balances ensures that no single branch can dominate the government. For example, while Congress makes laws, the President can veto them. However, Congress can override a presidential veto with a two-thirds majority in both houses. Similarly, while the President appoints judges, those appointments must be confirmed by the Senate. The judicial branch can also declare laws or executive actions unconstitutional, effectively nullifying them. Additionally, the U.S. government operates on a federal system, meaning that power is shared between the national government and the state governments. Each state has its own constitution and government, mirroring the federal structure with executive, legislative, and judicial branches. States have the power to make laws on a wide range of issues, not specifically reserved for the federal government, such as education, transportation, and public safety. This federal system allows for a balance of power and ensures that local governments can address the unique needs of their communities while adhering to the broader principles and regulations established by the national government. In summary, the United States government is a complex system designed to balance power among its three branches and between the federal and state levels. This structure ensures that no single entity can become too powerful, protecting the democratic principles upon which the nation was founded. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Leave a comment below with any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next.